Hello and thanks for joining us for Carolina Connection. I'm Timothy Mash. And I'm April Albritton. Carolina Connection is a production of the Carolina School of Broadcasting in partnership with Cox Media. We're here at the Beckler Modern Museum of Art, a 36,000 square foot museum dedicated to the exhibition of mid 20th century modern art. And speaking of art, it seems like everyone is sporting a tattoo nowadays. Our first story reveals the rise in popularity of the body art and how Charlotte's making its mark on the current trend. Once considered taboo, tattoo art has become one of the most fashionable forms of self-expression. And it's not reserved for just bikers, rebels, and rock stars anymore. We tattoo people from all walks of life. Doctors, lawyers, preachers, teachers, and everybody in between. The popularity of body art has been on the rise for the past 20 years. Today, one in five Americans sports a tattoo. In the early 90s, that's when it seemed to really start getting really popular. Because I noticed a lot of rock stars were starting to be sleeved out, and then next thing you know, everybody was starting to get tattoos. The art of ink is nothing new. America's first tattoo artist, Martin Hildebrandt, set up shop in New York City in 1870. By the mid-20th century, tattoos were mostly worn by men in the military. Well-known artists like Sailor Jerry Collins inked up thousands of Navy shipmen for good luck. The modern-day red-hot tattoo boom can be traced to pop culture. The main reason I feel tattoos are so popular nowadays is because they went mainstream between celebrities and athletes and uh, movie stars getting heavily tattooed and showing them off, making it seem like they're more acceptable. Charlotte is home to some of the most creative minds in the tattoo business than any other generation before them. As soon as I figured out you could draw on skin, I was just hooked with it. I have a lot of respect for where I came from, the people before me. There's some uh, really, really good artists in Charlotte, and people travel from all over the East Coast and parts of the country to, to come to Charlotte to get tattooed. The tattoo industry is cashing in on Americans' love of ink, breaking in $2 billion annually. Nationwide, there are over 20,000 tattoo shops. Charlotte has over 50 shops alone. It's a nice little community. Most of the people that I know that tattoo, they're good people. Shops are as diverse as the skin art they offer. Take Halo Healing Arts in Midtown, where you can not only get a tattoo, but also enjoy massage therapy and shop for novelties. I think of this place as like a, a holistic art type experience. It's comfortable, it's inviting, it's a venue for the soul. With the body as a blank canvas, tattoos allow people the freedom to create a visual timeline of who they are. You know, everybody who gets a tattoo is trying to either mark some memorable moment in time or redefine or define themselves in some way. And the cool thing that I have noticed doing tattoos for people is it becomes this journey of discovery. Today's tattoo styles range from American traditional to geometric and watercolor. The art of tattooing has even expanded to include cosmetics. It's now even an innovative way to cover or beautify scars. I started doing some eyebrows and some uh, reconstructive type tattoos for women who've had breast cancer. And so some women are choosing to do artwork uh, and other women just want to have their body back. When it comes to getting inked, experts say don't take shortcuts. Decide what you want, where you want it, and who you want to do it. And there's two things you should never worry about when you're getting a tattoo. And that's what it feels like and how much it costs. My motto that I came up with is wear cheap clothes, not cheap tattoos, because cheap clothes come off. I would encourage them to think deeply about what they're trying to communicate. So looking at portfolios, walking into some spaces and just kind of vibing it out and see how you feel. You got a lot of space, so <laughs> get, get ready. Even if you end up with a case of tattoo regret, artists can help. There's a lot of people walking around with horrible, horrifically bad tattoos. I've covered up things that people have said couldn't be covered up before. I've fixed things that people said couldn't be fixed before. Cover-ups and reworks are a, a huge part of our business. So what does it take to be a good tattoo artist? Those in the biz say mental toughness is key. After all, modern tattoo machines puncture the skin between 50 to 3,000 times per minute, depositing a drop of ink with each prick. I think a good tattoo artist is somebody that's mentally strong enough to concentrate on what needs to be done. A lot of people can go to work and they can have a bad day. We can't have a bad day. You have to be on your best game every day. If not, a customer could walk away with a permanent reminder. They're wearing that bad day forever. And if your passion is becoming a professional tattoo artist, start with finding an apprenticeship. Pick the top 10 best artists in your area. Ask them if they were willing to take on an apprentice. Send them your artwork. Send them a bio. Tell them who you are. Go visit them. Get tattooed by them. Create a bond with them. It's the best way to get into the industry because you're taught 
how to do things safely and how to do things right. You gotta think about every little thing you do while you're tattooing. Given its popularity, it seems the tattoo trend won't be losing steam anytime soon. Maybe beauty really is skin deep. I think it's great. Uh, I've been here 13 and a half years, and in that 13 and a half years, I've seen Charlotte uh, grow a lot. I only see it growing, really, just getting bigger and bigger, and it's here to stay. This is Nick Alexander reporting for Carolina Connection.